the fourth review sheet is all using the quadratic formula. So the first thing you've got to do is remember what it is. And this isn't in the formula book. So it's minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. And this is all divided by 2a. So for each of these first questions, we've got to put these numbers into this formula. On the first one, we haven't got any x. We've only got one x squared term. So a is 1. The second number, b, is 4. And the third number is the number on the end. c is minus 3. So filling these numbers into the formula, we've got minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times minus 3. And this is all divided by 2 a's, which is 2. Working out this bit underneath the square root, 16 minus minus 12 is 28. So we've got minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 28. Now this square root of 28 here can actually be split up because 28 is the same as 4 times 7. The square root of 4 times 7, or the square root of 4 times the square root of 7. The square root of 4 is 2. So this changes to minus 4 plus or minus 2 root 7 divided by 2. Cancelling 2's now, we get minus 2 plus or minus root 7 as a final totally simplified answer. We're going to do this again now then. This time here, a is 1, b is minus 2, and c is minus 1. Filling the numbers in, we've got minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 4 times 1 times minus 1 all divided by 2. Minus 2 plus or minus root 8 divided by 2. And root 8 can be tidied up as well. Root 8, that's the same as before. This is the same as the square root of 4 times the square root of 2. So it's 2 root 2. So we've got minus 2 plus or minus 2 root 2 over 2. Let's cancel all of these 2s. We get minus 1 plus or minus root 2 is our final answer. Moving down a bit to do number 3. Uh, this time we have got a value for a, and more than 1. a is 3, b is minus 5, and c is 1. Filling them into the formula, we get 5, because it's minus minus 5, plus or minus the square root of 25 minus 4 times 3 times 1, all over 2 a's, 2 3's being 6. 5 plus or minus the square root of 13 divided by 6, and there's no simplifying that. Last one's written round the other way, so be careful here. a is minus 5, b is minus 3, and c is 3. Filling these numbers in, we get minus b, so that's now just 3, plus or minus the square root of b squared, that's 9 minus 4 times a times c, all divided by 2 of these, 2 of these is minus 10. So that's 3 plus or minus the square root of, this works out to be what that's, that's 20, isn't it? That's 60. So I've got 60. 69 in total. 69 all divided by minus 10.